Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over hip external rotation pails and rails from a 90-90 base position. What we're going to do, we're first going to find a position of end range at that hip. The way we're going to do that is I'm going to get Chris to take this hand here, he's going to place it underneath the same side butt cheek, so pick underneath for me please. And from here, you're going to bring your other hand as far forward as you can. Good. And what you're going to do, you're just going to use this as a reference point to really lift your butt cheek up and over. So feel, feel the hip roll over. So really roll that. Yes, just like that. Now you're going to take this hand and you're going to place it forward. And what I'm going to get you to do, so remember, we're using that same reference where we pick this hip up and over. We're using that hip to roll. And I want you to think about finding a position where you're pulling your belly button as far forward as you can. So really think about pulling the belly button forward. We don't want to see a collapse in the spine here. We want to think about really pulling the belly button as close as we can to the inner portion of the front thigh. Can I get you to please walk your hands just a little bit forward, nice and slow. Keep going. Good. Hold. That's probably a good position for Chris. You feeling the sensation, Chris? Yes. Where are you feeling that? Uh, through my left side glute. So Chris is saying he's feeling that through the left side glute, which is exactly where we want to feel it. So I'm going to get him to really try and pull the belly button a little bit more forward. So with our pails and rails, remember, we're doing a two minute stretch first. So big, deep inhale, exhale through the nose consistently over the course of that two minutes. Try to allow that nervous system to relax so that we can acquire a little bit more range of motion. For teaching purposes, we're not going to go through the whole two minutes. Let's say the two minutes has finished. The pales contraction here is Chris is going to be pushing his entire thigh down through to his knee, in through to his foot. He's going to be trying to push the ground away from him, but nothing in his body is going to move. So with the pales contraction, remember, we need to do a gradual ramp. So you're thinking about gradually increasing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 100% of our maximum amount of effort we're able to produce. So from here, chest nice and tall. We're going to start to ramp up. So gradually start thinking about actively pushing the ground away from you. Ramping up, pushing harder, ramping up, pushing harder, ramping up, pushing harder. Increase the amount of tension, increase the amount of tension. Let's say we're at maximum effort now and we're going to hold this for 15 seconds. So gradually push the ground away from you. Dig deep, big inhale, exhale, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and ramp down beautiful and the rails contraction for this remember we can go as hard as we can right away on the rails is we want to think about actively pulling through the inner thigh gradually think about lifting his entire leg off of the ground and pulling his belly button toward toward the inside of that thigh so his body's not going to change he's not going to be able to lift that leg off the ground but we want to think about that's the effort that we're trying to apply to that tissue. So really pull your belly button closer towards your thigh, pull your thigh towards your belly button, really squish chin, chin down, really pull that belly button as deep as you can. Really think about pulling with that adductor, trying to lift that leg off the ground and holding 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and excellent.